Hello, today we'll be talking about subtractive and additive manufacturing processes and how they relate to some CAD clinical applications. There are three main elements of CAD CAM dentistry. First one is acquiring the data. Secondly, manipulating that data through processing and then creating an appliance or a prosthesis. Data acquisition is via standard impressions, which can then be scanned, or by intraoral scanning, which gives us a virtual replication of the mouth. This data acquisition is then manipulated in a variety of programs to put output a file that then can be made in either a additive or subtractive process. The files that we receive either from the clinic or that we output to manufacturing equipment is, falls into two main categories. The first one is an STL or stereolithogram. This is basically a CAD file that has a whole large number of X, Y, and Z coordinates. If we thought about it putting it on an Excel spreadsheet, it would have three columns that go for thousands and thousands of pages. These can then be integrated to create a three-dimensional object. These STL files can also have other parameters, such as relating files to each other or color. The other main file that we use is a DICOM. This is a very broad type of file output and stands for Digital Imaging and Communication. The main one that we use to integrate prosthesis in the lab is a CBCT image, which is an image showing all the different densities of the bone and skin and soft tissue. 